Uh, probably just fatigue. Just tired, man. We our schedule definitely been brutal. Um, but we was in the game. That just showed, you know, how good we is and the fight we got. Um, so, but I think that a couple mess ups on the ball, just communication. Um, and they're a good team, so they make you pay every time. Uh, I mean, we was upset. We want to win every game, so um, especially fighting back like that and then losing, you know, like that is tough. Two two bang bang threes, you know, and turnovers. But um, third quarter, they definitely um, went went crazy. So um, I think that was a big part of the game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, a lot of stuff doing in every sport, you know. First, first, uh, first two, three rounds in boxing, both fighters fresh. You get fatigued, you claws come out. So, I think in every sport, man, it's uh, you know, them games, them back to backs, and everything. I think it definitely weighed on us tonight, um, especially the way they move. Um, it can mess with you, our low man's and. Our switches stuff. It's tough with you know Clay and Steph out there attracting so much attention. We kind of forget we still got to help other guys. And um, yeah, it was a good test for us though. Uh, I like where we at though in the season right now. Yeah, I mean, we all know um, they got championships on the last few years for a reason. Um, the way they move. Everybody know they roll. Um, everybody know, you know, turn down a, a good shot to pitch it to Clay or Steph, shoot threes, you know, they add up quickly. So uh, it's definitely tough. You got to be locked in all four quarters against them. And um, obviously that wasn't the case for us tonight. But we live and learn. You know, you live and learn with that. Um, they come with the game. Um, and you just got to be better. Good thing is we play again Saturday when wasn't our last game, you know, of the year. So live and learn from it. Great, <laughs> real great. Um, definitely uh, push through this one tonight. Uh, we gave it our all, but you know sometimes that ain't enough. But I mean, all you can take is experience. Um, for all the guys on the roster, you know, just fighting through a back to back. That's kind of like what a playoff series is, just grinding it out. Um, and it's a good test for us, man. It's a very good team, um, and they. It's the reason where they at in the Western Conference. I mean, I don't know what other guys think, but I mean, I just try to look at the next game possible. I mean, I've been around long enough where it's like, you know, playoffs, I know where you got to take your game, but it's still another game at the end of the day. And, you know, you can get sidetracked on that. These 15 games, a lot can change in 15 games. So if we looking ahead too far, it can, uh, you know, bite us um, down the line. So I think our main focus is next game. Next game after that, next game. So I'm not a look forward type of guy. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we definitely want home court. Altitude definitely play a factor, as I always have. But um, we got to keep winning. We got to keep putting our, ourselves in that position. Don't get complacent with a, you know, a little bit of success. We got to um, keep bringing it. I mean, because home court definitely going to help us. Um, it's tough going on the road early on in the playoff series and um, trying to get wins. This one, yeah, this game for sure. Just the, you know, the electric uh, in the building, um, the fans um, showed up early. Um, There's a lot of Golden State fans, but a lot of Nuggets fans came out. You just felt the energy in there from jump. You know, whether you, if you was tired or was tired from the back to back. It definitely woke you up if you're a real hooper. So um, it definitely felt like a playoff game. It was fun out there. I mean, shit happens, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can't explain that. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Monte. Uh, from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, what can you tell me about Devon Reed's role in the last few games? You know, D. Reed is a guy who comes in every morning, um, 
you know, bust his ass every morning, don't complain. Um, blue chip, blue collar kind of guy. He uh, he's just ready for his opportunity whenever it presents itself. And every game he gets in, um, as you see, he can go for a big night and have a good impact on the game. So he's a guy who knows the game, got drafted, um, 32nd um, pick in the 2017 draft, and had to fight his way from the G League. Um, he was playing in the league, went to the G League, you know, and had to find himself again. And he revamping himself here in Denver. So um, it don't surprise me. He's one of those guys that go get it and don't complain. So. Hi, Monday. Hope you're well. Um, what do you think were the biggest challenges when facing the Warriors, considering the way in which they came back, especially in that fourth quarter? Um, just their movement, man. It, the way they play, the the pace of play can wear on you down the stretch because then you kind of get to playing their game. And then that's when turnovers you saw. And then they get in transition, they get layups uh, and big threes down the stretch. Um, I think they oppose that challenge to everybody that they face, um, starting with Curry and Clay. And then they got, you know, Wiggins also an all star. And down the line, they got guys who know themselves. So um, they definitely. Um, is a tough task.